Dun, 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 Oh, we're filming. Oh, I forgot about that. Right, so around two weeks or so ago, I uploaded a video titled something such as Five Year Vegan Eating Bacon, Burgers, Eggs, and Cheese. And this was a silent mukbang video, which I did not talk in whatsoever. And I had announced around 30 days prior to that that I switched from a high carbohydrate vegan diet to another diet, but I wasn't telling people what. And that was the first time that I posted anything to experiment with a new diet. And obviously that title, and seeing as I was vegan before, a lot of vegans freaked out and there was a lot of pro meat eaters was like, yeah, welcome to the meat eating side. And I did make a video talking about me no longer being vegan. And a lot of people keep asking on various different questions, were they actually animal-based foods or were they vegan fake foods? When I say vegan fake foods, were they vegan replicas of the meat-based and animal-based foods that I ate in that video that I just mentioned that was that silent mukbang video? So I'm gonna be as serious as I possibly can with you in this video to clear up any confusion that certain people still have around this. And what I'm gonna do is actually at certain points throughout the video, I am going to have clips of me eating those foods in that main video. And I may pause through that clip at certain times so you can look at the food more closely in a still frame rather than a movement frame. And what I have to say is, if you look at this food that I'm eating and showing you, it definitely looks like the most really a burger, cheese, scrambled egg, and bacon. It just, it just can't be a non-vegan food at all. Just look at it. It just looks like the absolute real deal. And when I'm eating it, it just falls apart so easily like it would if it was the real deal. So it must be the real deal completely. At least that makes sense to me and my logic. Does that make sense to you? And yeah, I don't normally joke around, so why would I be making a joke? Why would I lie about that? I never make clickbait videos on this channel, so you can definitely, well, surely you could have realized that it's not a clickbait video and I was being serious completely. And as I wrote in the comment section of that description, I quit a high carbohydrate vegan diet. So surely that must mean that the foods I was now eating on my new diet were animal-based foods or not. What do you think? Let me know down in the comment section down below. And like I mentioned in another video before, I only care about me. It's not about this tattoo that means non-violence and compassion to everyone and every living thing. And yeah, I've just wanted meat-based foods for so long. I don't care about the animals at all. I don't care about me. I just want to eat them. And yeah, I definitely was eating the real ones. They definitely don't look like they're made from soy at all, at least to me. And it definitely doesn't look like there's any turmeric added to what looks like scrambled egg, which could be scrambled tofu. Maybe it is, maybe it wasn't, who knows. And the bacon, just like the burger, just looks so real and looks like it falls apart in a way that the real bacon would do so. And when I'm eating it, it just looks like I'm enjoying it so much in every single way. Which if they were the vegan fake alternatives, then I definitely wouldn't enjoy them as much because the real, real meat just tastes so nourishing and flavorful and it's so deeply satisfying. And it just looks like I'm getting so much satisfaction from this. And you can definitely just tell from looking at a silent video, as someone not explaining to you what they're eating, as to what they are eating exactly, and whether it is a vegan alternative or the real deal. And many people did say in the comments section that it is the real deal, and a lot of people said that it's vegan fake alternatives. And yeah, a lot 
of mixed opinions, which is understandable. That's just gonna happen with any video that I make online. Everyone has different perception and sees things differently. And it seems that a lot of people on a meat-based diet thought that it was real meat and eggs. And then there's quite a few that saying that it was fake. And a lot of vegans were saying it was fake as well. And I just didn't understand this. Because to me at least, I am just looking so malnourished and weak and frail and not thriving on a vegan diet whatsoever. So of course I would be eating the real thing on camera because we need meat and eggs and not these fake vegan alternatives that are so toxic for you full of unrefined, I mean refined toxic oils and salt and all this other garbage that is not good for us all in our body comp process and they contain so many anti-nutrients and definitely showing signs of amino acid and protein deficiency. So obviously I would be eating the real thing because that's exactly what I need. And as we know, many people that have not been thriving on a vegan diet, they all of a sudden go and eat fish or eggs and boom, magically, the light infuses within them from God. And it's just healed every health issue and symptom that they've had, which I mentioned in a video recently. So, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, definitely has to make sense to me. Now I'm starting to question my logical thought process. I think that vegan diet, being on it for so long, it's just affected my mind. I'm, I'm, I'm mentally unstable. I can't even think correctly. I'm crazy different. I have all these voices in my head. I don't know what's going on. Where am I? Who am I? What's going on? What is this camera in front of me? Is this even a camera? Or is it a vegan in disguise? And they've got this fluffy thing on top of it. It's a bit like some furry cute animal. I'm actually starting to get quite hungry now. Maybe I should eat that. Because yeah, us as humans have this natural desire for furry animals to eat them when we're really hungry. Well, at least for me, a lot of vegans won't agree with that. But yeah. I just saw a short while ago, and I'm actually being truthful, um, not a cow, similar to a cow, a bull. And I haven't eaten this morning in the fastest state, and I was like, mmm, I want to go out there with my bare hands and go and eat that animal. Because it seems so mouth-wateringly appealing to me in every single way. And I'd definitely be able to, with my hands and my teeth, just go out there and eat that animal really easy. Or maybe not, because what I've normally found is they try and run away from me. So it actually could be quite difficult. And I need some other friends to help me. We might need some weapons and tools or something. It's going to be quite a bloody process. And us as human beings, we love harming animals. Especially if we don't feel empathy and compassion at all. We can just do it. And we could actually get some enjoyment from it. And the blood, we just love it so much. We don't feel bad about doing that to animals whatsoever in any single way. We have this natural desire to go and harm animals and eat them. And rather than me just go and pick these coconuts from this coconut tree that are just hanging all the bananas outside that require no harm to the plant whatsoever. But to be honest, a lot of vegans will say that about actually plants have feelings too. So yeah, I can justify harming an animal because if I'm taking the plant, I'm harming the plant too. What's the difference? It's all the same to me. At least what I learned from Sri Ridge anyway, he says he enjoys killing animals and harming animals. And even if he could be healthy on a vegan diet and thrive, he wouldn't do it because he loves harming them so much. Which, yeah, I definitely think I should be listening to him because he seems one of the most sane people out there in the YouTube movement. And the vegans are just way more crazy than him. Well, what he does going to vegan events and eating animals' heads in front of people and that. He's just got his head so switched on. He's one of the most sane people ever. We all need to follow him and join his cult, which I'm definitely going in the direction of following. But then sometimes I question it because, yeah. Some things he says are a bit extreme, like sun gazing and a certain point on his diet. He started having all these visions and wanting and seeing people eating other people and all these other things. So sometimes I question his sanity. But to be honest, he says loads of good things, doesn't do a lot of crazy things, seems very sane in many ways, so I can disregard all the other things that he does that 
maybe at least in my eyes are not the best thing possible. So yeah, that's my thoughts on this. What's your thoughts on anything that I shared? Let me know down below. If you like the video, like it down below, because this is the end of the video. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. Please share this with vegans, meat eaters, anyone else you think enjoy this very, very serious, transparent video. And if you haven't already, click the subscribe button down below to receive a lot. Oh, I'm losing my memory. It must be that vegan diet, again, that's affected me for so long prior to me going back to eat meat. Yeah. Ah, I remember. If you want to see more videos from me on a regular basis, make sure you click the subscribe button down below. You can get other types of videos like this on a regular basis. Videos on weight loss, intermittent fasting, calisthenics, transforming your body in a way to gain muscle and optimize your health and happiness. And many other different videos that can help you go in the direction to have the body size, fitness levels and the energy levels as well. Like I am now starting to have due to eating those types of animal based foods I mentioned that I eat in a silent video. Not why I still on the vegan diet at all. Um, and many other people that have followed my information consistently as well and got the same results. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you do click the subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button otherwise YouTube is not gonna notify you of when new videos are uploaded. Peace.